Yo, what's going on Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another video. Today, we sure have something to talk about. Today, we're talking about the Agent of Destruction support coming out of the Anniversary Box. And I do have to preface this video by saying I have jammed a lot of games with this deck already. And it's questionable. It's obviously very powerful. It's a very powerful deck. It kind of teeters the line between broken. I mean, it's some of the same stuff we saw with Vegex. There's just a lot of free play not as much free play maybe i mean the leader does it but it's, it's at the cost of still drawing cards so that is a drawback but there's very cheap aggression in the deck and it's not necessarily as broken as vegex i wouldn't go to say that and there are answers to it of course there's cards like kami there's cards like dark power black mass sand but when you are forced to play cards like that it's usually a little bit problematic but i'm definitely going to say that i don't have the perfect testing down pat yet i'm not going to say it's broken i'm not going to say it's unbeatable that's definitely not the case i just want you guys to be aware that this is a super powerful archetype because usually going into these things you know it's pretty new to all of us but i have played many games of this i was actually really excited to play a lot of games with it and it's very very powerful so that being said guys if you're new here make sure to subscribe hit that bell so miss a video if you want to help the channel out there are many many ways to do that down in the description if you want to buy any cards you see in today's video or pre-order them make sure to check out the tcg player link down below Check out Dex Protection for all your card storage needs. And finally, guys, the Patreon and Jemmy app down there for anyone who wants some crossword articles as well as some coaching one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. That being said, let's get started. So we have Bobbity, the leader of the Agents of Destruction. Permanent tree agents uh, in your hand as if they had no specified costs. So remember that one drop Bobbity, I think from like maybe set five, whenever the agents first came out, he does the same thing. He treats them with no specified cost and he reduces their cost by one. So this does half of that. This basically says they have no specified cost. So they're all kind of colorless. So this is basically a five color deck. Auto when this card attacks, add up to one card from life to your hand. Then look at the top five cards, add an agent, then shuffle. Awaken, untap one, draw one. Then on the back side, we have Boo, Leader of the Agents. Uh, same thing, no specified cost. Activate main once per turn. Choose one Agent of Destruction with an energy cost of two or less in your hand and play it. Now, this is very important because you're definitely going to want to play that Bibbity I was just talking about that reduces their cost by one and treats them with no specified cost. The specified cost thing doesn't matter because the Leader does that already, but you are going to be able to turn all your three drop Agents into two drops, which then allows you to play them from your hand with Boo here. So that's very powerful already. Activate main once per turn, pay three, choose a unison with Agent of Destruction in its card name, and play it with three markers on it. So that's really important for this unison right here, Vegeta Resolute Agent of Destruction. He is a four cost green unison, but the leader plays him for three with its activate main. He is a double strike critical 20k. Right off the bat, that alone is very powerful. Pairing crit and double strike or triple strike has always been crazy powerful. Auto, choose a card in your hand and discard it. When this card's played, choose all your opponent's battle cards ignoring barrier and KO them. So on play, it's an immediate board wipe if you need it. Activate main plus one. This card gets plus 5,000 power for the turn and minus five if you lead a card's an evil wizard or all your energy is mono green. Choose three cards in your opponent's hand and discard them. Your leader is an evil wizard on both sides. So that works out as a pretty powerful you know ultimate if you will of a of a unison so starting off with some of the agents we have turles so he is a barrier unique 15k two drop blue the color is very important because it is a five color deck when this card attacks look at the top five cards of your deck add up to one agent of destruction and uh from your from your deck to your hand and shuffle so the thing is with the leader right like i mentioned before once you awaken you lose out on raw advantage from the leader you no longer search for agents you no longer draw cards but you have cards like turles and a card will read in just a bit that do help you keep up the advantage so there's not too much lost on that front and a two drop 15k that you can play for one because of your bibbity and another card from the deck that allows you to play it is very strong so next up we have hatchyak vengeful agent of destruction he is one of our main playmakers we really want him at four we want to see him on turn one three drop activate main pay one discard this card from your hand play up to one evil wizard bobbity with an energy cost of one from your deck or drop area then shuffle your deck if you look through it so that bobbity i've been talking about he fetches it straight from the deck or drop area when this card's played choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of four or less send it to the owner's warp then place up to three battle cards from your opponent's drop area to the bottom of their deck so we're seeing now with like some of these online premier tournaments that graveyard hate is actually really strong and really important so this card having that inherently also having removal is very powerful your leader can play this for free when you have that bibbity on the field as well so it's basically a zero energy or two energy 20k warp a guy and interrupt your opponent's drop area so they're stopping their sand instincts stopping their kamamaha origins stopping their rebrands stuff like that 
the agents of destruction strike back we have a one drop yellow extra card permanent this card gains agent in all areas activate mainly the top two cards of your deck add up to two agents uh with agent and their card name to your hand then place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order and you can't activate copies of this card for the turn if you added cards to your hand add up to one card from your life to your hand so the nice thing is they have a lot of optional self awakening which you're probably not going to need there's not too many leaders that don't have to attack to draw but it is nice to have it now the thing i'll say here is there there's builds i've seen and worked on page worked with patrons on that are just like 50 card aod's you play this card look at the top two you should theoretically hit two agents and that's going to work out really well for you but the other flip side of that is i think since it is a five color deck and everything is essentially colorless you have access to so many good cards in the game topo uh sensu bean different uh unisons different unison counterplays things like that that you don't necessarily have to play a 50 card unison build so if you're going the 50 card unison build you're probably playing this card if you're playing the more utility five color deck build you're probably not playing this card but nonetheless a plus one inherently most of the time is pretty good Broly, Invincible Agent of Destruction. We have a three drop 20K. Activate main, pay one, discard this card from your hand. Add one card with agent and its card name from your drop area to your hand. So he basically tutors any of your other agents. Auto, when this card's played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards under cost five or less, KO it. Then look at the top three cards of your deck, add one card, then place the remaining in your drop area. So again, even though your leader stops getting advantage, you have cards like this that on play gain you advantage like this and Turles, which is important now one thing that's really important to mention is a few of the cards are actually uh, uh they don't work with the archetype what i mean by that is we have like agent strikes back right now because it says agents of destruction and broly specifically says agent of destruction without the s because it gains agent of destruction in all areas but that's not in the card name so it's a little problematic they might have to errata that there's another card that we'll read in just a second that they is also problematic and i'll explain that when we get there so lord slug mighty agent of destruction we have a two drop 15k and this is our super combo which is really funny it's just a zero 10k but doesn't have any of the typical super combo things it doesn't actually do anything when you combo with it instead you actually want to play it to the field because it's auto says when your opponent activates a counterplay skill they choose two cards in their hand and discard them so the thing is this is one of your more interactive cards per se if you're playing the 50 card agent build if you're playing 50 card agents you don't have a ton of counterplays you don't have a ton of powerful negates so this is one of the cards that you're going to play that kind of lets you interact with your opponent that being said i'm still playing this in a non 50 card build it's your super combo it's an agent it's searchable all that good stuff but i'm just saying that if you are playing a 50 card build you don't you don't have to necessarily feel like you don't have any interaction so that's pretty important to note there i feel like now this is the other card that has a problem with its text so this is agent uh, android 13 exterminating agent of destruction two drop 15k counterplay he's another card that gives us interaction with our opponent if your leader card has agent of destruction in its card name and that's the problem right there because our leader is agents leader of the agents of destruction so that is a problem they're they're probably like i almost can guarantee it's gonna errata like actually look at that right there i think eggman just commented the same thing right there so that's pretty funny but anyways the counterplay which we're gonna assume is going to work with the leader i, I they have to errata it if the battle card being played has an energy cost of three or less it is placed in its owner's drop area instead of being played play this card then your opponent chooses a card in their hand and discards it so this card is actually one of the best cards in the deck in my opinion because it gives you the interaction again if you are playing a 50 card aod build but besides that kind of like a vegeta the cruel usually for one energy because of that bobbity and he stops things like topo which is very important so having the ability to interact with cards like that is very good but you are kind of missing out on the ability to interact with you know larger energy cost cards auto when this card's played shuffle up to a total of two evil wizard cards and or agents from your drop area into your deck so for some reason if you were you know potentially going to mill out or something i guess he lets you recycle a little bit into your deck garlic jr immortal agent of destruction another incredible card two drop 15k counter attack need the attack play this card and again remember that everything in this deck is pretty much one less cost than it's printed on the card because of the bobbity so this is essentially a one drop yellow negate auto in this card's played play one agent with energy cost two or less other than copies of this card with its skills negated for the turn from your deck then shuffle your deck so the main play i like to use with this card is you, you negate with him you play turlis next turn turlis swings get another agent keep on plussing it's actually really insane when you do things like that so that's all the agent obstruction support we have for today's video again guys i just want to say 
this archetype is absurdly powerful you pair it with the janemba agent of destruction you pair it with the old android 13 agent of destruction pay to kill a guy make him discard another card and the crazy thing is like that that age that android 13 you make it a two cost because of the bobbity you play it for free with your leader that immediately gives you the ready energy to then use the use the pay to kill a guy and make him discard a card and it's a critical that's really important one thing i like that they did about this though like they didn't give any of them critical they didn't give any of them double strike some of them are 20ks which is kind of big but they are three drops and the rest of them are 15ks so it is a very spammy archetype again somewhat made more balanced by the fact that your leader doesn't plus on the unawakened side and most of the things in the deck do cost energy that is true but again the leader plays things for free now of course you can play bms but that's not going to hit every single card of this deck and this deck actually can answer bms pretty well because you can just like free play one of the 20ks snipe the bms and that kind of thing kami is good against this deck but there is counterplay like for example the android 13 wouldn't work because kami has deflect but if you're playing that green vegeta unison for example you have the frieza counterplay from set 10 that is a very valid card to play so i think it is an incredibly powerful archetype something we'll all have to keep an eye on uh, but as you guys test it definitely drop in the comments below let me know more and more what you guys think of it thank you guys for watching i will see you next time